Great, thank you everyone. So my demo today is like, I just finished my sophomore year being pre-med, a lot of stuff to study for, for finals. So, okay, wait, I wanna see if I can pause this. Oh. Okay, maybe not. So, okay, as you can see at the top here, I just wanna show like, a lot of people talk about, okay, you use Manus for something, but like, what are the thresholds of this? So what I did here is I took my like, Canvas course for my like, biology class. Uh, okay, there we go. And I pretty much downloaded all the PDFs, right? So this is my lecture. This is a whole 10 weeks worth, right, of all the lectures. Because I was like, okay, I can study my notes, but what if I miss something? Or what if I have a question? And I don't want to just ask ChatGPT because it can access, you know, like the whole knowledge of all the internet. And maybe we didn't cover that. So I really want some context-specific stuff. So I gave it all of these files, right? And I really just asked it, okay, here's like practice exams. So it's not only lectures, it's practice exams, my past midterms. So actually the test that I actually took as well as the score the result. So I found this was a huge study hack because now when I go down to the bottom, you can see it's just preparing a lot of stuff and it gives you this kind of detailed report. Obviously this took like quite a bit of time, right? Okay, hopefully you can get to the bottom eventually. Uh, <laughs> Okay, but you can see that like it has this entire study guide where it outlines like the most important things. It even has like kind of high yield um, topics and stuff like so. It's really just easy for me to go through. Uh, and there's also study guides based off of each kind of section here. So you can also see they have we did a lot of like physiology. So these are study guides by each section, right? And then let's say oh. I don't know about like a certain thing. I have another question, a follow-up question about a certain part. So I asked it, what are the beta and alpha agonists and antagonist functions? And this is something very specific we covered about and it should be in one of those slides. So you can see it very clearly kind of breaks it down. So now I didn't have to train a GPT. I didn't have to make a custom GPT just for like kind of, you know, my studying purposes. And actually even now I'm realizing I could have had it log in to kind of my course like website and actually download all the files itself and like read through them. So I wouldn't even have to upload it. But in this case, I did upload them. And you can just see like the amount of context is able to just support, go through everything very concisely, but also detailed, create a summary of it. And then I'm still able to ask it specific questions afterwards. So I think this is a huge, huge test. And personally for me, after I kind of had this, I was like, wow, this is a game changer for studying. And it just proved really the capabilities of how deep and far Manus can go. Thank you, everyone.